So it's the start of February donations and deliveries. To start off, we have a delivery. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know what this one's for. And I don't get to keep this one. I do get to play with it for a little bit though. Right, let's uh, open this up. And carefully with a knife so I don't slash up whatever's in here. Although I know these guys, they tend to put lots of giant packing foam thingies in here or rather air filled things. Um, well, now, well, let's open this up here. Let's get this up. I'm trying to keep the address out of the way so I don't end up with stalkers, but I don't think many people watch this channel anyway, not enough to store for me anyway. Ah, yes, it is what I thought. It's a laptop. Um, and this one, I think, off memory, has an SSD and 8 gig of RAM. Yeah, it's a ThinkPad. It's a slightly smaller one, but the keyboard's not too bad. Let's plug this in, see if it fires up. The battery has some charge on here. And it looks like it's got Windows 7 on it, but we can fix that. Won't take long. And it's a Core i5 um, with V Pro, whatever that is, I forget. In fact, I never knew in the first place. And it's a Lenovo X230. Well, it's a pretty quick boot, so let's take a quick look at what we've got on um, our performance bar here. All right, so we are a quad core. Um, and yes, indeed, we have 8 gig of RAM. Um, maybe we can have a look at what the actual CPU is. I think we can go properties here. Ah, okay, so while it has buttons on the touchpad here, it also has buttons under the corner, left and right click buttons under the corner of the pad. That's interesting. Um, so it looks like we have, yep, 8 gig of RAM. It is indeed a Core i5, a 3320M, 2.6 gig quad core, 64 bit architecture. Okay, very good. Let's move on to our next delivery. Right, so uh, February deliveries and donations continue. We've got a few things that have just arrived. I found I had an old JCAR voucher, so I got a few things I need. Oh, and I'm missing one thing that's in my pocket. If I can get it out of here. In fact, I don't know what pocket I've put it in. We'll find it. There we go, found it. So I have a TR2032 battery holder. That's going to be for a repair video that I'm working on, along with a couple of 2032 cells. Now that didn't make up the total value of my voucher, so I bought a few extra things. I have an IR avoidance obstacle sensor or whatever. Um, this is for an upcoming project um, that I need to do while my old man is still around. Um, I have a breadboard power module. Um, I'm always having troubles connecting breadboard power. I've got a rain sensor for Arduinos and Raspberry Pis and whatnot. That will be handy, I'm sure. And a real-time clock module with a replaceable battery because I'm sick of buying real-time clock modules with flat batteries. So, um, we'll have more very shortly. Right, so February donations and deliveries continues. This one's sort of a delivery. This is a uh, special from Facebook Marketplace. And we've got uh, a bunch of little, what looked like flat panel speakers, but now look like they're a bit of a cheat. And you'll have to excuse me snuffling in the background. The damn wretched pressure is a little off the charts right now. I have my brother's curse. Now, here we go, and here's the subwoofer unit, um, which has just a subwoofer with a dinted cone sticking out the base. Um, yeah, not a huge unit, but I needed just a little amplifier. So, um, yes, we've got some outputs and a funny looking DIN plug for the volume control. It is a 12 volt input, that bit I like. Um, so. That's the subwoofer unit. Let's look at these guys. These have had tape and a bunch of other things. 
I would be highly surprised if these are a uh, an ultrasonic transducer. They're probably just a very small speaker packed into a funny looking panel. Um, those two seem like that. These ones are probably slightly bigger, but uh, there's quite literally just a speaker in a holder with no like sounding box or anything behind it. Um, this is the volume control one with the unit in here. Um, yeah, <laughs> made in China, but we, we didn't expect anything else. And an unregulated power pack. Um, it's just a uh, 25 to 1 ratio transformer. Um, with a fuse in it, according to that, but I find that it's often not true. And then we have this funny adapter here. So, most of this will probably get modified, but uh, that's for another video. The bloke, uh, just after delivery, because I told him that I'd be uh, probably recycling some parts out of this, he did send me a message later on going, hey, how do you plan on doing that? So this particular one might actually turn into a video if, you know, there's some curiosity around it. But anyway, um, we'll work on this a little bit later, but for now, it's been a good purchase. All right, well, February donations and deliveries um, continue with this... Uh, hastily redacted letter from uh, Missouri and uh, I know the who this is from and I've redacted it because I don't want to reveal their identity but this one's uh this one's a handwritten letter that I was expecting It'd be interesting to see what's in here I'll have to uh I have to write with my horrible handwriting again but um that'll be interesting we'll see what's next all right so more donations and deliveries this one's sort of a delivery made yet another purchase on Facebook Marketplace. So we've got a couple of um, <laughs> long range Wi-Fi antennas, which I can tell you why these are a bit of wank factor later, but um, what have we got here? We have a Wi-Fi card and that's a standard PCI job. Oh, that would be handy. Um, we've got a little mini webcam of some kind that might also be handy. Um, long range Wi-Fi adapter. Um, that's probably a little uh, half watt one. Yeah. Uh, we've got another one of those. And we've got another little webcam. Um, we've got, um, an MS-485. No, it's a bit bigger than that. Uh, it's a, probably another little 2.4 gig antenna. Um, USB 3 card in PCMCIA or something like that. Maybe a small one. That's a PCMCIA card. That's a wireless um, expansion card for laptop, that's a PCMCIA, that one is something else, I'm not quite up with uh, laptop expansion port specs these days, that's another eSATA card, oh that will be very handy, um, there's a remote, um, USB 2 card bus, we have a stack of driver disks and Something fancy in here. What's this? This looks like a CPU. Oh, okay. I'll check out what that CPU is in a minute. Um, another remote. Ah, and this is what the remotes are for. There's a bunch of um, DVB-T, um, yeah, TV receivers. Um, they're interesting. One that's got some magnets glued to it. I'm not sure that's going to help the receiving ability at all. But anyway. Um, I had another antenna as well. I think, oh, they're the TV it brought band antennas. That's what they are. Now, let's look at this CPU. Um, this one's been opened. Sounds like my breakfast is ready. We'll make this quick. This appears to be a pinless chip um, that's been used. It's got heatsink compound on here. This is a Pentium 4, 3.0 gigahertz. It's a P4 pinless. All right. Cool. Alright, on to the next one. Well, more deliveries. A couple of things from Bunnings this time. I've got, I'm not sponsored of course. Um, got an Arlec doorbell, a wireless doorbell with two receivers on the same channel. This is going to be handy. Also got myself a some um, Loctite because I've started to buy serious super glue again. And uh, Loctite's what I used to glue hearing aids back together with uh, when I... Uh, did that for a job. So, uh, good stuff. All right, we'll see what else shows up. More deliveries for 
February batteries and cheap Chevron brand. But it's all good. I use these for stuff that I'm experimenting with, soldering to or throwing away or giving away. Alright, let's see what else shows up. Alright, more deliveries. This time it's a uh, purchase. This is a, actually, I'm going to open this on camera. This, uh, from a previous video I did uh, where I fixed a pair of speakers, uh, my audio lead was kind of useless. So I thought I'd buy myself another one. And uh, yeah, we'll test that in a moment. Normally I'd be skipping through all the donations I've received. Uh, but I want to test this one on the spot because I need to answer a question. Is it the audio output of my desk control center or is it the actual device itself? Let's plug this in. Bypass our audio. Has it detected the input? I guess we'll find out. Let's play some music. Music. Alright. That audio lead works really well. If you go and find my JBL charge repair video, you'll see what happened with the last audio lead. Alright, next donation. Right, now this one is a donation and it's heavy, fragile and quite dirty. So I'm going to move this along gently. Alright. Now, this is a vintage radio. I think I might do something different here. We might move the camera this time. So, we can see we have valves, variable capacitors, and various other components in here. And if we move around to the front here, we will see the various states of Australia. New South Wales, Vic, Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia, and Taz. No ACT in here. Interesting. But still, we've got an area almost the size of the United States, or around about the same, but only five states. Um, so yeah, all the stations that were known at the time, unbroken dial glass, that's extremely rare. Um, and this was apparently in working condition, it's missing its case, but that might be a project. Although I'm not seeing anything happen with the tuning adjustment, so we'll give this a clean up out in the shed on the air compressor, and then see what else we can do with it. Actually, we will have a quick look underneath though. Move this gently. We do want to mostly check that there aren't redbacks hiding away in here. Oh, okay, so we've got wax filled tuning coils, Gen genuine capacitors in here, genuine old ones. They are probably dry, but point to point connections in here to the max. Um, let's just pause and turn on a light source. A little easier, we'll go in for a closer look. All right. I'm going to have to find a schematic for this, but they're definitely handmade in Australia. I know these little guys go often. Crucially, I don't see any redbacks in here or any egg sacs. We're doing well. A couple of shed spider skins, but nothing to be worried about. Ah, there is a lead under here as well. There's a connection for... Actually, let's move this up a bit. We have up here a connection here, which I think is external speakers or battery or power. Or I think it's probably power connection. Um... That looks like antenna. Yeah. So if this was a farm radio, it would have had batteries, but this looks like it might be mains. Um, and I'm noticing, well, if we don't tip the camera over, there is this mystery goo here, which I think could be um, possibly capacitor electrolyte, or perhaps from some of the wax that's up here somewhere. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll, we'll do this in a whole video of its own at some point. Anyway, on to the next thing. Alright, another delivery has arrived. So, uh, see what this is. We've got a nice little koala stamp on here. I'll open this one up. Pretty sure I know what this is. Ah, uh, this would be my tempered glass protectors for my uh, phone. Two of them. Nice little tempered glass protectors. I'm not sure if I need to, uh, if I'm going to do this myself or whether I'm going to take them to Ticket Man Mick. He's an expert. But uh, yeah, I've got some fresh ones. Right, and another donation um, some LED strip lights. Uh, these were apparently unwanted for a 
planned project that didn't go ahead. Um, and they're an RGB kit. Looks like they might even be 12 volt as well. Well, there's a little 12 volt battery holder in here. That's going to be handy. That's obviously for the test run to light up one strip in one color. Hmm. Easy installation, pre programmed. All oh, these will be fun to play with. We have another delivery now, and this one warrants funky lights. We've got a delivery down here. Let's open this one up. And this one is from Oz Retro. Okay, those lights are getting annoying. Let's just put them on that and that. So, Oz Retro. Let's open this one up. Where are my scissors? All right, I think I know what this one's going to be. Aha, it wasn't the one I'm hoping, but this is still going to be handy. This is a 256K memory card for an N64. That's a uh, controller pack. Now, I'm going to grab a Nintendo 64 controller, just in case you're not familiar with them. All right, here's a controller. So, this goes in the back here, pops in like that. It also goes in the place of where the rumble pack could be as well. That allows me, some games don't save to a game cartridge, they save to one of these. So um, this is a Chinese copy, as you probably guessed. But um, from that, I can save my save games, and using my EverDrive 64, I can back them up to an SD card as well. So my little uh, apprentice here can't uh, accidentally wipe out my save games, I can back them up. So I didn't bother getting a 1 meg one, I just got the small one. Um, and that will do the job. And uh, next thing I'll need to get is an 8 meg memory pack and a, um, what is it? A video modification board for it. Anyway, let's move on to the next donation. We have some more deliveries. Um, one of which is a cosmetic organizer. Um, I'm going to use this as a transparent project box um, for one of these things here. A Geiger counter. Um, likewise, I've got a couple of sets of um, headphones, but I'm just I'm going to probably turf the headphones. I'm going to use the acrylic tubes to protect the Geiger tubes. Um, some of which you will have seen in a previous delivery video. I've got several of these. Um, also, just general electronic components: some 2.2 meg resistors, some fuse holders, also good for holding Geiger tubes. AA battery clip, um, 100k resistors, 100 mic cap, and 1N914 switching diodes. Cool. So, there'll be more stuff to show up, I'm sure. Um, and my Geiger counter is a little higher than normal level at the moment. That's my wife in the other room. She's had a radioactive trace, but that is in a video that's coming up. So, donations continue. I've had a donation of mains cable, and uh, that will become more relevant in a moment. Um, I've had a delivery of some mounting blocks. Um, several of these, in fact. I have three mounting blocks. These are uh, Delta brand stuff. They are not my usual preferred of like either Clipsil or HPM, although I'm not a fan of HPM. But when we get um, Delta brand PowerPoints, um, there's a crucial factor about them I appreciate. And I've got several of those. And I've also got a Delta brand right angle transparent power plug. Um, now, crucially, why I like Delta stuff, um, it's a very firm fitting plug and they're made properly and they're made to code. They're not terribly expensive, but um, the horrible, horrible, horrible if you're going to be plugging things in and out of them frequently. Um, in this case, I won't be, and I want a good firm connection. While that's important is the recent demise of that machine over the back there was a result of a cheap power board, and that's still one of the more expensive ones I could buy. But uh, inside that, they have a flat piece of copper that is twisted. When you put your pin in, they intersect just by rubbing against one edge. Shit idea can't seem to find boards that don't do it so the better way is to put mounting blocks in they have rolled pins that the connection rolls and pushes in between them they make a good 
clean contact and it's a good firm one. So that's what they're for. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the other stuff. Another uh, donation has arrived. This one's a little bit out of the ordinary for this channel. I got myself a Star, Star Trek Enterprise NCC-1701 model, complete with the, um, the wall plans, um, and it is an unassembled one. So, uh, yeah, God knows when I'm going to find the time to, uh, to assemble this, but yeah, still, a nice bit of donation. So yeah, that'll be interesting. And it's, uh, yeah, 8 inches, 18 inches long when assembled, uh, with display stand. So yeah, quite interesting. We're on uh, location of the couch to open this next parcel, uh, specifically because my apprentice has helped me. Okay. Here you go, apprentice. You can open this package. You got this real one. Yep. Get right across there. Watch your fingers. Okay, because we know what this we think we know what this one is. If you think, you uh -huh. know, I will take a look and check it out. Now, if you're an old school gamer, you'll know what this is. It's a four meg RAM expansion pack for an N64. Yeah. My apprentice is going to run over and plug it in straight away. So we'll be back with more donations. The donations continue. Um, this time I've been given a humongous box of toys uh, for my apprentice. There's a few things that need fixing and a few things she's not interested in. Um, so I'm picking just a selection, uh, one of which is this voice changer device here, which doesn't appear to have any real, uh, settings. All right, so probably got obviously okay batteries, a bit of a rattle, but yeah, test one, two, three, test. Hmm, interesting. Um, there was, uh, also this, which is interesting. This is a shirt. And it looks to be official licensed stuff. Um, why am I doing a shirt? Well, it has a little object in the corner here that is interesting. And I don't know what to do with it. Um, but I'm going to pick that out and see what that is. Um, there's a whole bunch more stuff. I think there's a pair of 40 megahertz walkie-talkies in there as well. I'll dig them out in a minute. For now, this is just the first few things that I might actually do a project on. All right, some more deliveries. We've got a two by double A battery holder. Um, we've got more five and a half, two point one mil plugs in the long shank form. Very handy. And we've got these, which I spotted today and thought, you know what? I've been wanting a set of these for a while. These um, I'm going to pull out because they require a bit of explanation. And apparently it's some skill to get them out of the bag here. Um, right. <clears throat> now these are special tools apparently for removing pins from the back of sockets. Looks like there's ones a bit bent there. Um, but yeah, some of them, that these basically go in the black to push down the little locking latches that engage the pins in things like Molex plugs and whatnot. Um, these tubular ones, I'm not quite sure how they work, but I'm sure we'll find a purpose for them eventually. And then there's some very specialist ones in here as well. So, uh, yeah, at the very least, these could be good for lock picks or something. There's a whole bunch of them here, all on a big chain bloody arrangement. Where are we? Oh, there's two loops of chain. Right. So, nifty stuff. Um... Yeah, I've got these from the local J-Car style shop, so yeah, when we come to uh, refurb some plugs, this will be nice. I can swap pins around. So um, I might find a Molex plug just real quick and see what happens. Okay, so I just quickly grabbed myself a um, assortment of Molex plugs, and this is probably not strictly the right pin for the job here. I've already pulled one of these out, um, and that went in just nicely. So let's see if we can get another one out here. Push forward a bit, we'll push that pin down, we'll wedge that in position. If we pull this one, it should just pop straight out the back. So, probably not the correct size for that plug, but it certainly does work, and does make short work of the job. So, I think these will be handy. Alright, let's uh, see what else shows up. What is it? It's the 27th now, only a couple more days. 
Well, it's very nearly the end of the month and uh, I had to go outside for this donation. Uh, it seems like word of my MS and my challenges in walking have uh, come to other people's light. Uh, this is one I've been servicing for a couple of years and it's uh, now surplus to requirement I'm told and it's landed on my doorstep so I'm going to take a quick moment to check the batteries before I do anything with this. A slight challenge to do one handed uh, but let's check battery volts. Yeah, I think the battery's shagged. 4.7 is probably not going to be great. Let's go over to this side. See what we have here. Again, this is a bit of a challenge one-handed. I'm going to try and get into these terminals. Um, what do we have here? A flat zero for this one. Oh, flat two point something. Well under the 10 volts. So, I'd say these batteries are probably well over damaged so what we might do is um get some new batteries and this whole trick of running multiple cables instead of one big thick one i don't like but anyway i'm gonna need a new set of batteries for this but i think the drivetrain might still be good so we're right on the last day of the month and i've had another delivery arrive an old uh, GoPro Hero 5, I got for a good price. This you're probably going to see feature in um, some of my videos. I'll probably do some of the recording as I needed something else that could do 4K. And uh, obviously the obligatory charge lead. And these, at least I know I can buy replaceable batteries and everything. This one, the uh, bloke that sold it to me was kind enough to include 32 gig SD card. So that'll be good. And it's a high speed one. So we have one more delivery. And we'll deliver it just like OzPost does. Right. This, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. But let's get this open. And let's bring our camera angle back and up a little bit. I could have probably used my new GoPro for this. It's got a nice wide angle lens on it. Open all this up. Pretty sure I know what this is. You might recall, um, if you're an avid watcher of my videos, you would recall that my main workstation had a fault. Um... Uh, earlier in the week and uh, I thought it was the motherboard because um, I, I've got another one identical and it did the same thing the motherboard died and so I thought it might have just been the RAM but it turns out it was just the RAM and not the motherboard so I got really lucky and I found another motherboard for about 50 or 60 bucks quite cheap now these machines, whilst um, they are quite old, actually, in the relative scale of things, they do handle some fairly decent CPUs. Like, um, I've got a, a Xeon X5650. It's a 6 core um, with hyper-threading, so it gives me 12 threads. Um, it's kind of nifty. This one's got one of the factory ones, which is, I think it's a, a W3680 or something, if I'm getting my numbers right. Um, and it's a, a quad core, but for an older machine, they're still quite good. Um, and the fact that I can fit up 24 gig of RAM in them. Although I'm seeing that on Reboot IT, there's uh, a couple of good machines going that kick this thing's absolute art for not very much money. Oh, and I've got the front panel connector and some spare bits as well. Would have been nice of them to anti-static this, but uh, you can't ask too much for 60 bucks. But, oh, and I've got the CPU and everything. That'll be good. So, what we might do, we might refurb the old machine and give that to my um, apprentice for some, uh, teach her to do some video processing or something. They've even got the onboard USB. One of the reasons I like this board over some of the modern stuff um, is for a couple of key features here. You'll notice we have a parallel and a serial port, a legacy port. Really, really handy for some of the old stuff I do. And we've still got old PCI slots here in addition to PCI Express, and we've got a whole bunch of SATA on here. We have a floppy drive connector. Like, there's stuff on here you just don't find in modern boards. This is designed for a lot of, like, systems control and legacy stuff. Really wonderful for number crunching. But uh, anyway, we're gonna call uh, the donations and deliveries to an end now, uh, because it's the end of the month, and I do this monthly, so. I hope this has been interesting. Comment away, I guess. I'm starting to warm up to the comment thing. My apprentice is yelling at the TV again. I think that's something she gets from her grandmother. But anyway, um, yeah.
I'm getting warmed up to the comments thing a little bit, um, and I think some of the new changes to YouTube have made it a little bit harder for the trolls. As, you know, I don't think I try and encourage trolls, but I, I live in paranoia. They seem to follow me everywhere. But anyway, um, let's uh, let's get on with the next video. So I'll see you all in the next one. Hope you had fun watching. Thank you.